And welcome back to the Shrem Show. We are back with Fight Club. And what's the number one rule about Fight Club? We don't talk about the Fight Club. I'm wearing a leather jacket because uh, I'm Tyler Durden. I've been told, uh, you know, I resemble uh, Brad Pitt in all of his glory days, especially, uh, you know, his younger years like Fight Club. I've been told to have the, you know, the same uh, facial features as that uh, god, you know. Um, wow, Fight Club. What a great movie, honestly. What a bunch of ideas. I actually find Fight Club to be one of the few movies that, the more you watch them, the more, it get, like, the better it gets. Like, like fine wine. You know, even though I'm not even a huge wine connoisseur kind of person, I guess. Um, wow. Ed Norton, Brad Pitt, directed by David Fincher. That is quite the dynamic. That is quite the directing... Uh, choice for both those guys honestly i love david fincher movies like seven and i love his show um uh what, what is it mind hunters wow great show which by the way the uh one of the main actors from mind hunters was uh one of the henchmen in uh in the squad of brad pitt's army um tyler durden's army is actually one of the main characters in mind hunters which is interesting. A lot of directors like to use the same actors and stuff, and I guess uh, he made quite the impression on him. Um, also, Brad Pitt's in Seven, which is another De- uh, David Fincher film. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a great movie. Uh, a lot of ideas. Um, one of the ideas I actually got from it was that Ed Norton's character feels the repetition and David Fincher's choice to have the ringing of the phone in the background. And he says that he remembers it's Tuesday because his um, his boss is wearing a certain color tie. Um, I found that super interesting with the whole re- repetition creates insanity um, idea. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure a philosopher one time said that the... Um, the definition of insanity is repetition with no success. So I guess when your life isn't succeeding the way it should be, uh, the repetition creates that insanity, um, the insanity to come out, I guess, and i.e. Uh, Brad Pitt's character uh, comes in quite a lot right after the, uh, the repetition does not create success in his life with the happiness or the so-called happiness you should feel within this commercialized uh, world that we all kind of live in. Another cool, interesting idea I had about the film was that when Ed Norton goes to all these different, like, classes and all these different, like, meetings, um, I found that he was going there because he wanted to make himself feel better so that he could sleep. And... I find that in today's world, we tend to go on like all these social medias and look into the lives of people who we deem as like under us. And it makes us feel better about our lives that we're going through. Not that the life I'm in is not a good life. Uh, I don't know. That's a whole different thing. But I find that in the real world, we use our phones to disconnect from our lives that we live in today, which is what Ed Norton's character, the narrator, could uh, be possibly doing, which is, hey, listen, these people have bad lives. I'd like to feel better about my life, and it helps me fall asleep better. So I'm going to go to these classes and feel good about myself. Um, And I think that's crazy that, you know, he shows that, even before there were things like cell phones and, you know, TV and reality TV shows, there were people still doing this. And I think that it was kind of like maybe even foreshadowing that one day we're going to be in this situation in our lives where we don't get enough attention. So we go to our phones to look into the lives of people who have these kinds of horrible things going on in them. 
I think that's why there's like a big uptick in like true crime documentaries a lot is that people flock to these sort of um, these sort of things. I think that's very interesting. Um, I would say I would say the better of the actors is Ed Norton purely because of both of them. He's the one that has to kind of do both Tyler Durden and the narrator's part of um, there's got to be scenes of me going crazy and like scenes of me being totally, totally normal, totally sane. And I think that it's crazy that like he has to fight himself. And, you know, I think that those that 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 way of acting is has to be, you know, in my eyes, totally, uh, totally great. I think one of my favorite more, you know, I don't want to say favorite, but I want to say one of my more like scenes that I enjoyed watching was the scene where he's inspecting the car that needs to be um, recalled. And I found that to be the one of the better scenes because to me, that's how disconnected you see they are from like the real world. And they're putting numbers and... And they're putting like statistics and stuff like that and, and, and dollar signs on the literal, literal like bodies of people who have died. And I think that that was an interesting thing that you even hear the guys making jokes. And I mean, the narrator doesn't joke about this stuff. And I think that this is one of the main catalysts for why he had to get out of that world and how to make sure that people knew that there are, there are people, you know, there, there are, they're made of blood and, and flesh and blood and to, to laugh at, to laugh at the dead bodies of people, I think, uh, was, had to have been one of the main catalysts for him turning into what he turned into and for making, uh, Tyler Durden in his head. Um, I think one uh, another cool thing I found about the movie is that it starts off at the end. I, I I really think it's very cliche to do things like that nowadays, but I I found that when you when you're able to go all the way at the end, show the audience the ending, and they're still able to follow through the journey and through the the tr- like the, the the fun of the journey is where. Fincher made it, you know, it, it's, it's finding out how did the narrator end up in the situation that he was at, at the end. And it's insane because the whole time it's shouting at you all these things that are like, Hey, listen, you know, he's crazy and stuff like that. And the fact that you just ignore it every single time is it's, it's crazy how he's basically giving you the answer at the beginning and then he's telling you the flashes every few seconds of of um Brad Pitt's character before he even comes in and like the the flash of it all is is insane to me that that the directing skill of, of all that and also how they say they do that during the scene when he's going over Tyler Durden's job and he's showing you that you know that symbol's going to appear right right there or something and you know, they're doing it to us the whole entire time with Tyler Durden and they flash pictures of him every single few, you know, every time that they, I think they do it every time there's a moment where he, he's starting to create this Tyler Durden character. And I think that that's that's wonderful directing, honestly. Um, so a lot of things I was wondering is why don't they say the narrator's name? And I think that the idea behind not giving the character his name is a name has no meaning. There is no meaning to a name. A name doesn't do anything for you. What a name does is nothing. It doesn't give you any any insight to a character. Um, you are what you do. The narrator is what the narrator does. And throughout all these different classes, he gives fake names. Tyler Durden, obviously, is his alter ego, you know, whatever. Um, but he is he's somebody who really doesn't do anything. You know, he, he, he goes through 
all these different characters and he puts on all these different alter egos that he kind of doesn't even have a self. He just has all these other collective people that do things. <laughs> Something I found really cool, by the way, is that last episode was Forrest Gump. And when he's running at the guy, he, he puts a gun up to the guy's head and he tells him uh, to uh, go into veterinary school. And while the guy's running away, after he lets him go, he goes, run, Forrest, run. And I, I think it's very funny how on IMDb, they're right next to each other. And uh, that was really cool, a uh, little fun fact in between the IMDb world. So <laughs> there you go. Also, something very funny I found is that um, in the scenes where in the scenes where Ed Norton's character, the narrator, is um, is being shown uh, to be crazy and that there is no Tyler Durden and he's just punching himself. I always found it funny because it reminded me of that SpongeBob clip where uh, where Patrick is just like fake fighting himself and he throws himself here and there and whatever i i think that's uh very funny uh maybe i'll add a clip to it at the end if anyone's watching on youtube uh i'll put it there um but overall this movie happens to be one of the best movies i think it's definitely one of these movies like i said earlier the more you watch it the better it gets and i think that the movie directing obviously is 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 out of this world because it's it's insane to make a movie about you know two people one of them being crazy and imagining these other people i think that's very hard to do and the fact that david fincher is able to do it is insane to me and so the directing is awesome the acting is come on brad pitt and ned norton it don't get better than that not to mention um I always forget her name, but the actress that plays um, Marla is she's great. She's the one that's always in. Um, she's the one that's always working with uh, Tim Burton. Uh, yeah, she's great. She, her acting was was good, but I mean, they didn't really put her in enough scenes. Um, and I love the ending. I love the ending to the movie. It happens to be one of my favorite scenes as well. Um, I think it's a great scene because it really shows that uh, through all of this chaos, there's these moments of, you know, true connection and true uh, peace itself. And it's interesting that he's the most peace within himself, within his mind, while all this anarchy and this all this craziness is going on around him. All these buildings are falling down, yet he's able to find these moments of um, calming and calmness. And instead of watching, you know, something he didn't even want to happen, happening surrounding surrounding him is it's a very interesting ending for a movie and i think it's kind of cool that it does all end up happening the way tyler durden wanted it to happen and i think almost in a certain kind of way almost in a certain kind of way tyler durden gets his way and deep down whether or not that was the narrator's intention for all this to happen his plan went through and they're starting at zero, I guess. I don't know, because they never went past that. But um, it's interesting that he was also able to find that calming moment through all that chaos. Um, within our own lives, we try to do things like that. You know, the whole world could be crashing around me, and all I go is, oh, I'll figure it out, I guess, honestly. <laughs> so, I mean, in a way, he's kind of like all of us. <laughs> you know, minus... Uh, Starting a whole army and cult and, you know, bombs and all that. It's a great movie. Awesome. Thanks for watching uh, The Shrem Show, The Fight Club. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, do whatever the heck uh, helps me out. Uh, it would mean the world to me, honestly. I'm going to try to pump out, um, trying to work on about three or four episodes a week. Um I'm going to really start to pump these uh, these guys out, uh, putting a lot of time and effort into them. I'm a one-man army, so it really helps out if you guys were to, like, just share these out to everyone or, you know, I'm going to try to even work on a Patreon in the next few weeks. Um, you know, I appreciate everything, everyone watching. Thank you guys so much. It means the world to me. Uh, and I'll catch you on the next episode. I think it's Inception. Let's see how that goes. Chris Nolan, let's do it, baby. Uh 
Anyways, uh, take it easy and thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. Peace.